This morning on Rawson reports a new warning about gas explosions as a historic shopping district is leveled and at least eight people are injured in Portland, Oregon. So what are you supposed to do if you believe there's a leak in your home? Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson is here with some life-saving tips. Jeff, good morning. Hey guys, good morning to you. Such an important story. Those explosions we're telling you about rocking an entire neighborhood on Wednesday. And the video here is dramatic. Officials say some of the neighbors here actually smelled gas and made quick decisions that saved their lives. So got us thinking. If you hear that hiss of a gas leak inside your home or catch a whiff of, you know, that rotten egg smell from gas, would you know what to do? This morning, we're about to show you. This latest explosion caught on camera. People running for their lives, an entire building up in flames. It's an apocalypse. It's buildings completely obliterated, parts of buildings all over the street. It's a catastrophe. The culprit officials say a gas leak. Eight people injured, including emergency responders making desperate calls for help. Just two weeks ago, another gas explosion in New Jersey. Two homes completely leveled. Luckily, only minor injuries. And believe it or not, it's more common than you think. Please hurry. Oh my God, it blew back out. Families running from their homes as flames shoot in the air. There's gas coming, and oh my gosh, the house, there's lots of flames. Natural gas blowing houses to bits. With a big flames coming from the house. Police dash cam rolling as this house explodes, injuring 15. So what do you do if you hear that hiss or smell gas inside your home? There's a few things that you can do. James Altman is captain of the Santa Monica Fire Department. Straight away, what's first? Well, if it's safe, you want to walk over to the stove and make sure that all your burners are turned off. So that's a common mistake, I assume we leave this on. Absolutely. Somebody bumps it, they leave it on, and now you have free-flowing gas. If the stove is off and I still smell gas, then what? You want to make sure that you don't use any lights or open flame. So even if it's dark out, don't turn the lights on, which don't, is instinct. Don't use the lights because that could lead into a, a spark which causes an explosion. You want to make sure you have a flashlight handy. And that won't cause an explosion. And this won't. And the next step is you want to make sure you ventilate the house by opening up all the doors and windows. So do that immediately to get the gases out. Yes, you want to make sure you ventilate the house. And when you open this door and you leave, keep it open. Yes. Another great tip is to know where your gas meter is on your home. So when there's not an emergency, like right now, come outside to your house and check to see where this is. Exactly. Know where it's at and know how to operate it. This valve, while it's up and down, is on. Yeah. Perpendicular means that the gas is off. Can I shut it off if I smell gas? Absolutely. You have a wrench and you're going to put the wrench on and you're going to quarter turn it until it's off. And finally, you want to make sure you evacuate your home. How far away do you need to be to make sure that you're safe? You want to get to a safe distance. You want to make sure that across the street, uh, somewhere where you feel is safe. And once you get there, you want to make sure you dial 911 from there. Simple tips to keep your family safe and your home standing. Here is one more tip, and this is a good one. If you notice your grass, the weeds, or shrubs in your backyard or front yard have suddenly changed color, looking more brown or rusty, that could be a red flag, a sign of a leak, the gas pouring out of the pipes. If you see any of those things, you want to call 911 immediately, then call the gas company, but the key is get everybody else out. How many times you walk around your house and you see all these contraptions and you think, I'm not exactly mm -hmm. sure what's what, yeah. that idea of knowing where your gas meter is and, and being able to turn that back. And I'm not handy at all, but that's one of those things. If it's up and down with the pipe, it's on, mm -hmm. shut it off. So All easy. Right. Yeah. Jeff, thank you thanks. very much. Appreciate it. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.